What's going on, gamers? It's your boy, Lost Pad 1412. I got the AFC, I'm sorry, the NFC Championship match <laughs> uh, on board, on deck right here. I asked a subscriber to help me out and uh, pick the 49ers so I could pick the Falcons and I can set up this NFC uh, Championship matchup for you guys to view and give you guys my opinion on what I feel is going to happen in the game. Uh, what the score is going to be, what's going to be this, how this is going to happen, how that's going to happen, a little, a little semi breakdown of just how I feel. But before I get to that breakdown, if you do me this one favor, please, just do me this favor and in the comment section tell me who do you feel is going to be the winner of this game. Who do you guys feel is going to be the winner of this game? Yes, um, you guys, um, I asked you guys yesterday about the New England Patriots and Baltimore game, and today I'm asking you about the 49ers and the Falcons game. Tell me who you guys feel is going to win the game. Let's get that discussion rolling. Let's get the ball rolling on that. And shout out to my subscriber, man. Um, it was hard to find uh, people to pick the Falcons or the 49ers so I could set this game up. It took a while. Um, the, the subscriber hit me as soon as I got on deck. And um, I asked him to pick the um, the 49ers for me. And he said, sure, anything I need. It was real cool of him, man. And uh, I appreciate it, man. Shout out to AJ54, man. Because it was hard to put this game together. <laughs> But yeah, my, my thoughts on the game, um, I like um, I, I like the 49ers, and the 49ers are my favorite team, but of course, that's not the only reason why I'm going to tell you that I'm going for them. Well, for them, honestly, um, I just feel like we're just better than the Falcons. I feel like we're better. Um, this doesn't mean the Falcons are not going to give us a good fight. I think it's going to be a solid fight, a solid matchup, and of course, the Falcons can win the game. It's not. I would not be shocked if the Falcons won the game, but didn't get to the NFC Championship for no reason. I'm going to be honest with you about this, though. If we'd have played Seattle, I would have been a little shook. I'd have been like, I don't know. Honestly, this commentary, I'd have been like, I don't know. I wouldn't know who to pick. Of course, I'd probably give us the edge, you know. Uh, well, not of course, but I'd probably give us the edge. I felt like we were a little better than Seattle, but Seattle is, is more than capable of defeating us, and they showed us that during the season. But, um, but yeah, I like the 49ers. Uh, you know, of course, everybody knows about our defense, how our defense is solid. Our defense is definitely going to have a factor. We're definitely going to force Matty Ice to uh, turn that rock over or force some turnovers any way we can. Um, even though our defense um, is very solid, I think that offensively, they I think they're a pinch better than us offensively. And we don't have the best pass defense either, so we're going to have to watch out for that. And um, we're going to have to, you know, uh, D up, um, you know, as far as in the pass game. You know, we got to D up uh, Julio Jones. We got to D up Roddy White. You know, and uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's gonna to be tough. It's not gonna be easy. Now, Tony G, you know, he, he's due. For, he, he's a uh, not due, but he always has a solid game. He catches almost everything in his path. So you know, we, we got a challenge on our hands. It's not gonna be easy. We cannot come down to Atlanta and think um, that we're just gonna come in there and just get a victory. It's not gonna be like that. You know, they're gonna play us tough, and uh, you know, we're gonna to have to beat them. We are, we're gonna to have to really beat them. And uh, my my final score. Um, I, I like us to get. I like us to win by 11, 35 to 24. I think it's going to be uh, somewhat of a high scoring game, probably a higher scoring game than what people uh, might give it credit for. But uh, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. I think we're going to win, and you know it's going to be it's going to be nice. You know, what I mean, I, I can't wait. I really can't wait to see uh, how the game uh, shapes out. Uh, I'm actually not going to be able to watch it. Well, I am going to be able to watch it. I'm going to be able to watch probably the end of the game because I got to work uh, that day. I think I got to work until five o'clock, so I'll be able to watch the end of the game. But probably the um the middle of the third quarter going into the fourth, but I'll be able to watch the whole Patriots and uh, Ravens game, so I, I can't wait for that. But yeah, you know those are my thoughts on the game. Don't forget to comment and tell me what you guys think, who you guys think is going to win the game. Please, I need that. I want to get the conversation ball rolling, and uh yeah, that's that. But yeah, right here, you know I'm playing a subscriber. Um, haven't played a subscriber match in a while. Um, I have I have the Falcons my. Uh, the subscriber has a 49ers. I'm up 21 to nothing right now, and um, you know I, I'm in I'm in a nice secure not securely. I don't think a 21 point lead is secure, but I, I'm in a solid lead. I have a solid lead here. Um, third quarter, you know, still got plenty of time to go. He still has plenty of time to catch up, and he's actually going to have a beautiful drive on this drive right here, making an attempt to bring this game closer. You know, you know my opponent. You know, he was uh, he was pretty solid. I tell you one thing, I know is that he liked to do. And that I knew it was going to be kind of a Achilles heel a little bit. That he liked to drop back really, really far. Like he, <laughs> he dropped back 100 yards where he passed that ball off. And I, I kind of knew eventually that was sort of be an Achilles heel on his part. But uh, you know, but yeah, you know, um, you know, he was a solid opponent. You know, much, much love to him. Shout out, shout out to him. And uh, you know, much love. 
You know what I mean? And and uh, right here I got the ball and I okay, punt this ball off to him, score 21 to 7. though he still is in, in range within trying to win this game. You know, I got to D up. You know, I got to um, you know I got to get um, you know as he gets that nice pass. And I got to get a stop. You know, I, I can't take anybody for granted. You know, scores 21 to 7 right now. Still third quarter. There's still plenty of time to catch up and uh, you know plenty of time to win the game. You know, I got to be alert. But I get the pick right here. Look at that pick. We run, we run that. We run that for me. It didn't look like he scooped it up off the ground after that. It was a little weird. But uh, yeah, um, we run that for me. <laughs> and uh, tell me what you guys think about that too, in the comment section if you want to. And yeah, um, you know that that pick was crazy. So I ended up uh, you know getting the ball back and then throwing a pick of my own. Um, third down right there. I kind of thought I had Julio Jones deep, but I actually didn't have him deep. And I uh, ended up getting picked off. So, you know, my opponent has the ball again. Second uh, second down right here. He goes for it again. Then I get the pick. He throws a pick right back. Right when he had a chance to bring the score within seven. This would have been very big for him. It would have made the score 21-14. to 14, And it would have brought him closer and gave him even more of a shot to win the game. But that doesn't happen. And I get the ball right here. So, Rodgers. Rodgers had a great game. I think he had... Um, I think he had one touchdown uh, receiving, which is a touchdown right here, and he also had two touchdowns rushing, so he had a big game. I mean, he had rushing yards, uh, receiving yards. I think he broke 100 on the 49ers, which is not easy to do. Um, really not easy to do. It's it's very rare I break 100 on the 49ers. <laughs> yeah, I actually had a pretty good running game this game, so I was showing you guys a lot of runs that I had, a um, nice solid passing game that I had. Matt, Matty Ice had a solid game. As my opponent gets the flag right here, fourth and twenty something. Um, he got the flag right here on fourth and twenty something, but you know I, I gave it back to him. You know that's so he can have another shot just to uh, throw the ball in the air. You know I'm about twenty eight to seven. There's no reason to be uh, stale, I guess. And I end up getting the safety though, so I'm making the score thirty to seven. I pretty much have the game in hand right here. Um, there's no worries for me. I'm just uh, playing the game out because um, I love to play mad. And, and a shout, a shout out to my opponent for playing this game out. You know the score is thirty to seven. I have the ball. Um, a lot of people would have quit. Um, I'm the type of guy that, that that pretty much will stay in the game the whole time. You know, I, I will stay in the game the whole time. So I got that nice catch right there with Roddy White. Um, I, I, I will stay in the game. I'll finish the game out. You know, um, I'm just that type of guy. It, it doesn't make me better than any other Madden player. And uh, but it's just the type of guy I am. Um, AJ54 is also that type of guy right here, as you can see, showing um, showing great character here, staying in the game as I make the game 33 to seven. And yeah, you know, it, it, I'm the type of guy that I stay in the game. You know. Everybody doesn't do that. Um, I do. Uh, <laughs> it's just uh, what I do. Sometimes um, I'll be, I'll be down like this, and I actually think I can come back. I know it's another way of thinking, but it's just how I think. You know, it is what it is. Sometimes <laughs> I'm, I'm a guy that never gives up. I like to pick right here. I, I never really give up on anything. You know, um, even to the point where I kind of annoyed my cousin a little bit coming up. Man, he was just like, man, you just never, you know, con concede really. You never give up. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's just how I've always been. Stats right here, Colin Kaepernick not having such a great game, but Matty Ice putting together a solid game. Um, I think I only threw the ball 12 times. I thought I threw the ball more than that. Uh, I don't think Matty Ice had any pass to touchdown except for one. I think he had one pass to touchdown, one pick, but I think he um, had a hundred something, hundred something uh, pass rated. Michael Turner right here getting the most carries, but Drop Chris Rogers having the most yards, having a bigger day. I ran the ball with both of them. You guys know I've run with both of those running backs. You guys know how I do on that. Roddy White leading the way with six catches and 91 yards, having a solid game. Kind of shocked he didn't score a little bit because um he was getting the ball almost every other play. Um, you know he put in work. And right here, my my subscriber man, that's why I have the best subscribers in the world. Um, he hit me with a good game and he said he was just as good as I thought he was. I hit him with a good game. I told him thanks for the love. You guys know I'm all about sportsmanship here, and uh. And yeah, man, you know, I love the sportsmanship. Um, I love subscribers. You know, shout out to, to the subscriber. Once again, shout out to you guys. You guys are the best subscribers on the planet. They're the second and none. Don't let anybody tell you nothing different. Um, don't forget to uh, hit your boy up in that comment section. Don't forget to uh, tell me guys what you think about the what think what you think is gonna happen on the game and who you think think is gonna win. Don't forget your boy, hit the like button for your boy if you want to. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.